Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Oh, that's up. Nice catch there, hon. I'm not the one who hit the pothole. Well, maybe the pothole hit us. Ever think about that? Wow, that is like Olympic level goalpost moving. Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you. Yeah, still totally lost. <sighs> you know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Hey, eyes on the road! Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Lou, oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. Actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space. Well, anywhere's better. 
better than here. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. What? You're not the boss of me. I just don't want you wandering off on your own. Excuse me. That's not what I meant. Yeah, it better not be. I, I'm sorry. I, I really got to concentrate for a second, okay. okay? Yes. Look, I think there's someone down there, okay? What's that? They could be hurt. I'm going to go check it out. Good idea, Laura. So thoughtful of you. This is too weird. Why are you shouting? What? No, but I heard something. Let's just get out of here. Come on! Oh God, I thought you said you checked it! I did check it, and it was fine. Honey, I know you're on edge, but you gotta calm down, okay? I am not on edge, Max. I'm freaking the fuck out! It was probably just an animal or no, something. No, it wasn't an animal! You didn't see it! It was a woman! Lord, this isn't helping, alright? 
Go! There we go. We're good. See? Please just get us out of here. Okay. Max! I'm trying. I'm trying. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh! Ah! Fuck! Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? No. Uh, well, she bumped her head. Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I, can, I can't even feel it. My bump, not my head. I'm fine. Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Folks want to tell me what happened here? Uh, well, we were just driving and it's really, really dark out here. And um, I don't know, we, we must have hit like a, a pothole or something because we swerved and now here we are. I mean, these roads are really not in great shape. Yeah. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. We were just taken in the sights, officer. Is that a crime? Ma'am, I'm going to take it by the tone of your voice that you were unaware that this is an open season hunting zone until tomorrow. Oh, shit. Uh, no, didn't know that. <laughs> We were kind of lost, actually. What is your intended destination? We're headed up to Hackett's Quarry. Hmm. Not the camp. It's a free place to stay, so, yeah. <sighs> You're not gonna make it to Hackett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem- Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Why? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am. If you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's So, we... are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's Quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning.
still, please. What are you doing? Hold. Still. Fresh as a daisy. You can return to vehicle, ma'am. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Watch out for potholes. Oh, you need like Have a, a statement? Good night. this guy just sitting there thanks for all your help though back there what is that supposed to mean you were shaking like a broken washing machine i could have used a little backup i mean he clearly likes you better well i'm very likable <laughs> all right let's get back on the road yes i think i've had enough woodland encounters for one night thank you very much agreed so where's this motel Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know, kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> Very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20 is... debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Hey, you ready to roll? I'm gonna get some help.
Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the law. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Seen anyone. No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There there was definitely someone there. Okay. Okay. So You sure? Saw it online. Damn. You need a hand? Yeah. You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful. And maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey, it's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... <laughs>
Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack it's quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh-huh. Like they'll get over Emma? What? That's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad... Oh, my... <laughs> you know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be the lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. I wonder what's killing the deer. Oh, hey. This is Emma's. You, you spider fuck! Yeah, you better run. According to reports from the local paper, the notice killed <clears throat> some hay bales caught fire during the opening. Hey, what are you uh what are you listening to? Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke. Good to know. Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. It's broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags in there. Come on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. Man, who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. <laughs> oh, skill. <sighs> Ugh, horror. I hate horror. <sighs> Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. And this place needs a serious overhaul. Are you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? Nah, i got to stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring!
All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. I guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Okay, I'm gonna need you to back all the way out of my business, Caitlin. <laughs> well, excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha, uh -huh, the plot thickens. She took out the trash. What? No. Ah, mm, wait, check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then, she took out the trash. Then, she washed her hands. Bye-bye, Jake. Now, she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you, are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. Yeah, no thanks. Man, you're starting to bum me out, Jake. Well, I... Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're one sorry motherfucker, ain't ya? Okay, well, at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Ryan. Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. <sighs> so she really just dumped you just like that? <sighs> well, technically no. But, you know, she realized that she has her plans, and um, I have my plans, and it wasn't going to work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't want to try, like, long distance or whatever? <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> oh, but, I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, well, that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you. Yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> You're right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d so long. Oh, Nick. Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is 
being dumped <laughs> in emergency. Oh, burn. Back off, dipshit. I'm sorry. I. Peace and love, man. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Y'all ready to bounce? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy, loose springs. Aw, this was little Izzy's. Get you back to Izzy. Why would this place be in the news? Hey, you stop <gasps> that. <gasps> Gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. <laughs> Dylan is not gonna be happy that the kids just left this year. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Ugh. 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 What is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Oh, 
don't think anyone knocked Caitlin out of first place all summer. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic. Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. That's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. I've, everyone's waiting for us. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! <gasps> did I hit it? Did I hit it? Oh, Emma. It's still live. That does not look good. What do I do? it out of its misery. Uh, and I can't. Abby, it's suffering. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <sighs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Ugh. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you.
Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? <laughs> okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haga, it's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. You had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? What? The shit the kids. It'd only be so much of a... They're almost out of here, alright? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, alright? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. 
I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know. And my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Totally, yeah. Best to get you all out of harm's way. Woods are chock full of live game and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not safe. Hmm. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go, for real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing it oh, wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. 
Shit. Come on. Right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. We did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Ron, come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. No, no. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Artie. I, I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. Fine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say that this is a bad oh my idea. God, dude. Ugh. Uh, it's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just I don't know. Figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this.
stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Well, what? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. <laughs> ah, there we go! And Viola. <laughs> Your hair clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. I think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See? You just cut a hole in it? Mm hmm You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. <laughs> Harem scarum? this crap hmm <laughs> hello old friends Oh, yeah. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay, have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. Oh, my. <laughs> All right, now where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work.
What? No, they're they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean, yeah. <sighs> well, do you think it's funny now, little boy? I, oh, because... Do you want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? I... I... Yeah. What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. I wonder where this goes. Jacob, come check this out. Oh, uh, all righty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder he kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, There's tents back at the fire pit, so just... Let's, let's go. Did a bear do this? Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a code. I'm done. <laughs> oh. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh. Um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um <clears throat> pop pop peanut butter butter pops. <laughs> pop 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 them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my god. They're like the greatest snack of all time. 
What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh, fuck. Oh. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> No, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Um, yep. Which way? inner sanctum it's just an office this is where the magic happens <laughs> okay yeah let's just make this quick sure just give me a sec to get this going and engage podcasts yeah all right uh what's it called the one that you're listening to right now uh bizarre yet bona fide so like ghosts and stuff it's like um yeah like the the weird and the wonderful digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're well bona fide boner fide get it boner <laughs> your wit knows no bounds so should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date. Uh, mm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode. Though. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird. I thought I heard someone. Uh, maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Well, hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Uh-huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down.
Eh, on second thought, I'd rather not know what Mr. H is into. It's more mysterious that way. Sure. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> ring a ding a ding Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris... Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Dude, we're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's it's like my mom always said, if you want to party, you got to bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not going to fuck a bear. The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. <sighs> Your call, man. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Party har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Nothing but that. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just, Trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, 
I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Brian. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. It's probably nothing. Huh. Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. down <laughs> so you ever think about what's next like after we die it's heavy man no I mean like the future yeah sometimes all the time <laughs> so overwhelming I know what you mean sometimes I just try to like let it happen you know Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so... convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, 
it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and that I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. I mean, well, it's, it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. Know where we are? Yeah. Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. Figure it out. Did you hear that? Huh? It's probably nothing. No, listen, there's something there. Oh, look! It's so tiny. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, hold on. Okay, did you get all that? Huh? I thought you were going to draw me getting French by a wild pig. Ah, oh, got it all up here. Guess we should head back. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick.
Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? I, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Ryan. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick! Just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Uh, are you sure you guys are okay? Nobody got gored? We're okay. It wasn't a bullfight or anything. Though I think Nick did make a new girlfriend. Oh, do tell. Oh. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come right, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, as much as I enjoy watching Nick squirm away from a challenge, I don't think this is a great idea. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just uh, give Nick the butter pops as like an act of charity or something. Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're going to act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not going to die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're going to have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but... If I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. <laughs> okay, so, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil deck. Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. 
So, um, how was your little one-on-one with Abby in the woods? It was... It was okay. Hey, that a boy! So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 no. Hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obs. All right, Nick. One point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Nice shot. Lucky. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Better luck next time? Hey, I didn't want to <laughs> say it, but you're both very mean. Blam. We thought this was over. What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Walk right through that door. Okay, new idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? 
You really dodged a bullet, huh? Alright, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I... Um, I... Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry, I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay, let's do this. Caitlin, shall we? Always happy to please. Who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. All right, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there. There, man, come on. Okay. I dare you to take a flying leap over that fire pit. <laughs> Naked. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing. I don't care. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, no, Jacob, wait. Don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto. You're going to fuck yourself up. What? No, come on, man. I got this. Fine, come on. Fine, veto. You know what? Fuck this game. All right? <clears throat> Someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Emma, there. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob? Or. Oh. Nick? Uh. <laughs> well then. Um, uh, sorry, Nick. This is not even uh, there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good idea. idea. I choose Nick. You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What?
stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anybody can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Where the hell am I? Is that a trail cam? Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! Coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. You look?
Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found me that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you. I can't believe you, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! French, are we twelve? No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing, never mind. Hey, that's mine! Yeah, well, finders keepers. I'm getting it back tomorrow. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. We'll see about that. Huh. It's not long ago. Wonder if it was near here. Check it and thack it, huh? Oh, well, check it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is thack it? Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. Still wet. Hmm. What are these numbers? Whoa. 
Someone up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Exactly zero. You dick. What the hell? Nope. Get back down here, Jacob. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. <gasps> oh, but I can because you see, oh, help! Help, I'm, I'm drowning and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you ask Nick? Okay, I'm sure he'd love to rescue you. I'm ignoring you. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're going to get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey, switch. Oh, stop being a uh, Attack. <laughs> Dick move. Look, I don't want this to end. <laughs> I'd be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little pruning. Oh, you know what I mean, like... I mean this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be the summer. Okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey, where are you going? Come on.
That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! Go! Okay. I got this. Cool. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Gotta get, we gotta go. Can we walk? Can. Come on, gotta go. Come on, let's get back to the fire. We're waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing?
Abby? Fuck are you? Fuck you, you fucking asshole! Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? know what it was it was so fast and and there was a uh, there was a hunter and he was just oh abby here what oh try drawing drawing what oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you What happened? I'm all attacked. Where's Abby? Super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was there was a guy there, but there was some kind of some kind of animal. What the hell? What the fucking kind of animal does this? Yeah, it's Abby. Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think she was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh fuck! Look at that. Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff. That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor?
Yeah, you better run. Very brief. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running. Like as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like... I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop! So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes, but I thought that guy lesson booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge. Like, right now. Uh, hard agree. Oh, and Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like, a dead one? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, one of the, one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got lost on the way to practice and it was... Yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real. I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell because it was like all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... What? No, fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Oh yeah, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what Janae brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs? and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Explorer venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> so this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, 
I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. It's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? <sighs> Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. This is actually kind of fun. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. I kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching, nothing personal. It's a me thing. Cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp and that spark that changed our lives forever. And we'll be like 70 year old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy, and as they say, time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. Still warm. Looks like someone was just here. Quoth the raven nevermore. I guess I gotta do this one handed, huh? That didn't sound great. <laughs> oh, shit. is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 1805 by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... 
I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. there's something up there and it is not gonna make me jump I can promise you that much <sighs> goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore <laughs> I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're going to be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is going to cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. 
Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like what? Should I ask for it? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. Well, did you hang up? How could I have hung up? I don't know. You know, maybe you slept and hung up or something. Do you know how phones work? Yeah, of course. Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. I did not. So this phone's a no-go, no one has signal, is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there, I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaked. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. I'm a much better shot than you. You don't know that, okay? I might be an amazing shot. I might be. 
just give her your gun. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. No, no, I, I just helped a little. It was all Caitlin and Ryan. You're here with me. That helps. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh! I thought you 
said Dylan and Ryan already left. Stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. No sign of them. When you find them, run them. And keep me posted, Bobby. say but like what yes yeah, so like I was just you know thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and the start of camp and well, like now that summer's over and you know is that like the last time we're gonna see each other you know oh, I'm sorry Nick what what are you saying hey don't worry about Caitlin she's tough I know I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Of course I wanted it to happen, I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um... I... You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick.
what is going on out there, Caitlin. We have died. We have died. It's okay. I got this. Oh my God. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything. And, you know, nowadays everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day of camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Technology it giveth and it taketh. Oh. Something like that could really take your hands off. What is this doing at a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's. It wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then we would have noticed that, right? Well. Whatever it was trying to catch, it can't now. Oh, what in the name of voodoo doo-doo is this? That's why Nurse Kelly went home early. Oh man. I told the kids to look after this. It's three times older than they are. Why the hell did I do that? All good? All good? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? 
No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like, climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power-up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that... Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears, but... Oh, my God. All right, I, I guess I should just, like, switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Did he say lodge? I don't know. Huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Out. Out. We can't be sure they were talking about us. Uh, I don't know. I, it really, really sounded like they were. But that's... That's not possible, right? I know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, hey. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Ah! Oh, my God. What? Why didn't you tell me that there's something out there? I, I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear?
What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick. They're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh. Oh, fuck! No. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get in... Uh, Get into a cabin now, go! go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Anything we can do. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh, well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing, like a dog, maybe, it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it, and, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. Do it. Take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Right. There's something missing. I... What's missing? Oh, crap. I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Get it on it. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Uh, keep pressure on it. Uh. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Oh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. Is it safe? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. He 
You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Tell them what happened! Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean... I'm not, um... But it's, it doesn't it doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh... Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! To be where you are Emma! Emma, is that you? Yes. I don't want to fall off this. Well, that bodes ill. Fucking hell. There's something on here. Jesus Christ! Oh. 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 Oh, fuck. My. Life. Okay, you scared me. Jacob. You okay? I guess you could call it that. Oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... 
Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself. You oh, know? don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. Well, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. What? Look, don't ask. That fucking thing bit me, dude. Really need Caitlin to look at it. I. Wait, it bit you with that little scratch? Oh, I, uh, could have sworn it was much bigger before. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Hey, I'm trying to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good by myself. What? I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall in love with you just because you're my knight in shining armor. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you set this all up. Oh my god, what? Run! Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man, poor Kaylee. 
Nick. You smell so good. Why would anyone want to shoot Kaylee Hackett? Should we call someone or... Oh, fuck, Chris! How are we gonna tell Chris? Nick, what are you... I want to test you. Hey! Come here, huh? Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off! Ugh, watch out! I said get off! Get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Just try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. <sighs> Look, this is all I've got left in the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? This place was so different, like, 12 hours ago. I wonder where Caleb is. Here, that better? Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... Uh, he was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? Nick. 
Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. Such... Oh, such... Such... what? I do like you. No. No, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God. I sure know how to pick up. What? You're not really very smart, are you? Oh, stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I... <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, Abby! Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge. Only one left. stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. Coach, 
to know. I've never done this before, Tom. Let's do it fast. That's it. Son, what? Ah. Ah. Hey, stop. Stop squirming. Give me a try. You should be, huh? I'm not supposed to know. I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh! oh. oh. Doesn't feel safe. Abby? This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, let's not, um... You know... Let, what are we gonna do? We're fucked. We're, we're really fucked. We don't even know what's out there. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Go let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Okay. I'm gonna open the door, slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake.
can do it. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Eat shit. When I say name, you give me your name. Do I make myself clear? You've got my license, can't you read? I am an officer of the law. I need you to do as you're told and answer the goddamned questions. I don't care what you are. You can't hold us like this. This isn't legal. I want a lawyer. Stop! You need to shut your mouth and listen to me or there is going to be a problem. Do we have a problem? That sheriff's badge doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't believe in the law. Excuse me? We didn't do anything. You locked us up. Explain that to me. Lady, I don't think you have any idea what kind of shit you just stepped into. There is shit, and then there's shit. Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Right now! What? Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Screaming at him is not going to help. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I... I don't know. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. 
I mean, what the fuck happened? Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher, the blade, three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill, that's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey. Hey. Let's Get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling. Hey! Leave him alone! Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Hey! Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting him! Hey! something in here you can use. It's this. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Shit, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. The second you get out. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean, asshole? 
Hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade cab. Really, though? What happened? He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Like, some kind of setup. A, a, a trap. I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? They knew we were coming. Maybe it's some kind of kidnapping, extortion, conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know, what if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Stop. Come on, lighten up. Yeah, easy for you to say. What? Can't you ever accept what's happening? Sometimes shit is just shit. And not everything's some challenge for you to overcome. Uh, actually, yeah, it is. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... Um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I... I was embarrassed. Wait... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? Uh, maybe something like, sorry I lied to you and led you on into thinking we were going to college together in the fall? That'd be a good start. You see, I knew you'd be like this. Oh, fuck that. No, you lied. Just suck it up and apologize, or this is gonna be one long-ass incarceration. 
Okay. I'm sorry. Happy? Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies? Aliens? Time-hopping Draculas? Ryan, right? Yeah? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, let her finish, man. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, 
what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when. I turn into a nasty-ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. I'm not gonna be nice to this fucker one second longer than I have to. We've got to escape. Cool. Okay. So how? I don't know. Knock him out? Not... Laura, you know that's kind of a movie thing only, right? I mean, you bang someone on the head, you're more likely to kill them or leave them with permanent brain damage, not just knock them out. Well, what can you do? Yeah. Right. Prison break it is. Can we have code names? If we're doing code names, I have dibs on Golden Thunder. No, seriously, Max, we're doing this. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down and take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell. And then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right, okay. That's not really a plan, though. You know, that's just kind of saying let's escape, but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now. We'll catch him in the back foot. Really? Careful. Ah, ah, ah. Really? Genius. But what about my shower? Shit. I said... Take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Ah! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Down to 20. Over. 
What's going to happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not going to be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really going to leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? So much for depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. What's he hiding? Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Such a hint as a slap in the face.
You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? We've got unfinished business. Like what? Like how you're gonna tell me exactly just what the fuck is really going on here. Why would I do that? Because I could be halfway home by now. But I'm not. Because I have to help Max. Maybe I can help you too. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Happy? Here's some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. Nice job cleaning up the eye. I mean, it's harder than they make out in the textbooks, especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor, and no, I'm not, and I probably never will be stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know, you know? Uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, 
rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, it has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so... I'm, I, I was, when I... Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not... You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. You're not telling us everything. I'm telling you everything you need to know. I don't believe you. Well, what if killing ain't an option? What if you had to use science? Use science. Just like that. Oh, genius. Wait, I'll set an 80s montage going. I'm serious. I think you're desperate. You're drunk. And you couldn't help but let your dirty little secret slip. You science, what a load of bullshit. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I don't want to believe him. But I don't have a better explanation. I'm just not sure. It's, it just doesn't add up. Hey, who knew we get to star in our very own terrible horror movie? Well, speak for yourself. I think I am pretty well cast. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It's not like you could have done anything to stop it from happening. It's not like you're in control. Right? Right. Yeah. You're... You're not in control? Of course not. Fuck. Laura, what are you saying? I'm just trying to make sense of it. That's all. I didn't mean anything by it. Jesus. You said let me in there. Chris. I know they're in there. Who? The counselor. Show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. 
a while back. I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking bit one of them, Chris. What's that supposed to do? <laughs> what was that? What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh, Laura? Uh, Laura, are you okay? Uh, God damn it. What the hell is going on? Laura! Oh. Get up. You picked the wrong night to fuck with me, kids. Not so fun on that end, is it? Back the fuck up! Give me the keys. You don't have to do this. Shut up. Keys. Just... Please. I really don't want to shoot you. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Please think about what you're doing. You're not so tough. Why don't you take some time? Think about why you're in here. I'm sorry. We should grab our stuff. 
We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> no, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but... Let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. And I made my way here, to camp. Left Max at the island, seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. And I'll jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like, like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob... He went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, as long as they didn't go poking around where they shouldn't have, they're probably fine. Poking around where he shouldn't have is Jacob's middle name. This is very bad. Oh. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... Max? Hello? Oh, my God. 
So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. Good, don't I? Go on. Take a bite. Go on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. Let me go! Let me fucking go! Get your hands off me! Let me go! Alright? Let me go! I'll call the fucking cops! <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> that was funny. That's... Do Bobby. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. I said shut up. You've done enough talking. Okay, so you talk. Say what you gotta say. Ryan, maybe this is a bit much. I mean, just think about everything that's happened tonight. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? Just reminds me of a local story I know. The hag of Hackett's Quarry. A woman in the woods. They say that she died years ago, and now she sort of roams the darkness, waiting for her lost boy. These guys hate it when I talk about it. You've seen her. No, I don't know what I saw or heard. But whatever this is, sounds like you believe it. This is all so fucked. Just 
gonna go right ahead and take that back from you there. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? And don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any clothes are going to spray you to with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Shut up. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? This doesn't feel right. I think you're up to something. I'm not. You better not just be running out the clock. I'm not. The longer we're out here, the longer we're in danger. Said the murderer. You know, it might be a lot more pleasant if you lighten up a little. What is wrong with you? Nothing. And if it makes you feel any better, I'm not a murderer. You murdered Kaylee, and you want to murder Chris. I don't. I want to save everyone else he's infected. Except Kaylee, right? She would have killed you all if I hadn't shown up. You must know how insane this all is. There it is. Back your house. So, he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Will you stop protecting him? Whose side are you on? At this point, I have no fucking idea. There is a lot more to this than you realize. Like what? Kidnapping. Murder. Cover-ups. I think the whole goddamn Hackett family is in on it. Maybe the whole camp. Maybe even you, for all I know. Yeah, great. Just walk away. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I just figured that instead of standing around listening to you complain, I'd actually try to find another way across. Fuck. Ugh. That's gonna leave a mark. died we we could have died but we didn't it's nothing you'll be fine and you don't look delicious to me yet so I guess that means we still have time come on let's find a way up it's not funny it's a bit funny oh my god Laura Jesus, Mary and Jazz Hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax, look. What big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? We haven't got much time. This must be part of the old working quarry. Makes sense. These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years. Silence! Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> Careful. Jeez. Just look at this place. Do you think actually something is in here with us? Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. Well, where's cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. A long way down. So what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? And what box would that be? Nothing, forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh wow, charming. I am assuming you're single? Yeah, why? No reason.
This way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? Looks promising. Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the Hackett's were bootleggers. Makes sense. I guess when the quarry shut down, they pranced out. Come on, time travel later. You think this is it? Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? here. Eh, it's complicated. Gosh. I used to think this place was so cozy. This place, really? Yeah, it reminded me of a ski lodge. Sounds cold. <laughs> but you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? The cable car is broken and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, you've only got each other. Weird fantasy. A ski vacation does sound pretty nice right about now, though, huh? You ever been skiing? <laughs> Don't know the first thing about it. A couple trips down the bunny slope, you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> well, then, we better get this van up and running, then, huh? Wait. What? Is there... Is there something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. What 
was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. This is an old still. I guess business was booming. Jeez. Poor kid. Head this big. Who's Bobby? What are you doing to him down there? Well, it's nothing. We're just keeping him safe, just like we've been trying to do all damn night. What, what was that? Fucking hilarious. Shut up. Look, you gotta get me out of here. How? Seriously. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Ma. Uh. <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got a screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. Not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit! Not my little Kaylee! God damn you! What did you do to her? Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? Laura, what have you done? <laughs> Coward! Hey, Ma! Send Bobby down! The beauty is a tiger. Be careful, make sure that she doesn't bite. Her beauty. Easy, Ma. Put me down, you old witch. Blow your fucking head up. Ah, bitch. Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling.
Gotcha. Don't tell me what you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off of me! Everybody stop! Constance. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh... Oh, wake up. Wake up. Darling. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Cool. Yeah. No more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis. Yeah, I do. Don't make me chase you, pig boy.
You can't hide from me in my own house, fucker! You're a fucker. around here? We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. <laughs> you know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. Oh. Uh. 
Wait! This isn't gonna be too pleasant for you, I promise you that. I won't tell anyone anything. No, man. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, now you. It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe, it, maybe it will. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. 
Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? Do it. Okay. Ah. Uh. Nice and tender for you. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. never throw anything out, huh? Be the way to open it. Well, let's take a look. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Dodgy. They're okay out there. What is this? Here, I'm scared.
core. Damn it, come on. Needs a rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out. Maybe I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Huh. What's that? Proof we're on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Watch your step. Yep. What was that? I think. I think we found Chris Hackett.
Thanks. For, um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? What? Oh. <laughs> you think this is over? This isn't over. I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. Oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. Been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go! At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay, so where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes?
Okay. Gotta find Laura. What happened? Where, where is everyone? I'm... I'm nothing. Jacob! Stop it! Stop asking me questions I don't know the answer to! It's gonna be okay. It's... It's nearly morning. Leave me alone! Okay, summer's over, Emma! Get this thing off me! How did you do it? How did you just keep two innocent people locked up for two months and not even blink? It's pretty cold, man. Did what I had to. It was necessary. Wow. Wrong answer. Necessary? You stole two months of my life. You changed me. I will never, ever be the same because of you. But at least I can move on. You know, I'll heal. You're the one who has to live with what you've done. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? <laughs>
I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you.
Bodies pile up after summer camp massacre. <laughs> what do you make of that, Anton? What do I make of that? Why are they putting the bodies in a pile? They should respectfully bury them or. Well, you know, at one point, the way to respectfully uh, bury people was to put them in a pile and set it on fire, called a pyre. What does pyre mean if not a pile fire? Anyways, I'm pretty sure that the pile they reference is metaphorical. And I'm, I'm pretty sure. I really hope it is. Yeah, that would be shoddy detective work. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh god, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. God, sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine. Yes, you. it's, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah. Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but course you can't. 
What, do I have like a history of not verifying Yes, info? it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing, he's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe? Still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. I don't know. This is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're going to present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them too? Oh, please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage, I can't tell. Yeah, okay, that's not nothing, I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm, yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so.